What's up, everybody? I am BK, BKBanners.com. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today's video is just basically me touching on the use of this application called 32 Lives or 32 Lives. I'm not sure. I think it's called 32 Lives. Um, it's by Sound Radix. Sound Radix and as you can see it's a little bit costly you know costs a little bit of bread but nonetheless the use of it is if you're not familiar with it is that it's a 32 to 64 bit audio unit and VST plugins adapter and pretty much what all it's doing it takes your 32 bit only plugins and VSTs and it turns it into an adapter pretty much like if you have a, a outlet and you know you have those I don't have one like you have this block right here I don't know if y'all can see that but this is just the basic um, iPhone wall block but you know in certain certain plugs they have the three sprung or three pieces three ports and you have to plug it into the wall and then there's an adapter that you plug into that to this or you plug this into an adapter that's three and then you plug it into your your wall outlet well that's the same thing as 32 lives 32 lives basically puts a wrapper on said plug-in and it allows you to use a 32-bit plugin into a 64-bit DAW such as I'm using Studio One and I'm using it as 30 as 64. You can change it into uh 32 but it's a hassle to always have to you know switch back back and forth. So I try not to do that. I just um I kind of like forgot about a lot of the 32 bit plugins, you know. But I came across a um a video recently and someone was using Sonic Synth Sonic Synth 2. And I made a lot of dope um beats in the beginning of my um my production course years ago. Of course, when I was when I started out, I, you know, I was trying to get different sounds and different VSTs, and I really didn't know much about VSTs. All I knew was slap some um, samples, some drum samples, and and put them into the MPC. But you know, someone told me about uh, IK Multimedia. And they had a total bundle package thing deal. I still got the CD somewhere around here. But nonetheless, I'm more of one this tandem about the use of this, right? So we'll go over here to the plugin. Um the plugins manager. And as you can see, I have a couple of these um, I have a couple of these things right here go Sonic Synth 2 was the one that I needed to, to work with as well as some Brainworks um, some Brainworks plugins and I went ahead and already wrapped some of them but I'm um I'm going to show you guys how you would go about doing that. So for instance, right, let's go to BX Solo, right? This is a Brainworks application or plugin. So I'll go over here to Studio One. 
Now, as you can see, I already have Sonic Sync. It's already installed. It's unwrapped. And it's ready to, to get to use. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go over here to, since I'm on Sonic Sync, I'll go to the inserts, and I will go to Brainworks. And that was called, uh, what was that called? Um, what was that called? That was called BX Solo, BXXL, and BX Digital V2, right? BX Solo, BXL, Digital V2. BX Solo. Well, I don't even see Solo. I don't see none of the ones that, um, all right, so digital V2, XL, and Solo aren't in the list because these are the ones that I already unwrapped. So Solo. Digital V2 and XL Solo Digital V2 XL Solo Digital 2 and XL. All right, so I don't see these in here. Remember this list right here, how it looks currently is one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are ten in there. And in here there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There are twelve in here. And I have three that needs to be resurrected so you'll simply come down here where it says resurrect and you click it and over here it'll show you the status it'll ask you for your <clears throat> it'll ask you for your password now you can see that it's resurrected so now when we go back to studio one we're supposed to be able to see now those additional plugs but i still don't see them that's interesting i know this thing doesn't have another folder All right, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna close out of Studio One. No, I don't wanna save anything. I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna quit Studio One real quick. And I'm going to reopen Studio One so it could, um, Search for those plugins. I don't see them popping up in the scan. Um, I really didn't notice it pop up in the scan, <laughs> but let's see. Let's 
the T, the T, the T. All right, so yeah. So now we have one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So we even got an extra one. <laughs> we even got an extra one that I didn't, I wasn't fully aware of. Let's see, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There are twelve that needed to be unlocked. So there's, there was one that was a 64-bit plugin, but basically the ones that you uh that I was looking for was the BX Solo, the BXL, and what it was, Digital V2. Yeah, Digital V2. So I'm gonna just pull up the BXL, the BX Solo. And as you can see, it's fully, is there, it works. Um, the other one was the XL. There we go. And this is their mastering limiter. Um, and the other one was a digital V2. Alright. So I'll close out of all three of these because we're not going to use any of them <laughs> right now. I just wanted to showcase you guys the uh, that you're able to still use. You're able to still use 32-bit plugins within Studio One as a 64-bit uh, software. And the other, the other thing that you can do, which I don't, I do not um, advocate doing, because I don't do it myself because I'm comfortable in in how it works so I don't do it so you you go into applications if you're on a map you would go into applications you would go to get info when get info opens up right here where it says open in 32-bit mode you would tick this box and then it would open in 32-bit mode and then you'd be able to use all your 32-bit uh, plugins without the 32 um, lives or 32 lives software from um, Sound Radix. See what I used to do was before I create in Studio One in, in my MPC, right? I create in create in in my MPC and my MPC was already open in 32 bit mode. I would do my everything, you know, chop my samples, use any VSTs I want to use, lay my drums under them, and then bounce them down the wave, and then transfer transfer those audio files into Studio One. But that whole process became tedious after a while so I then just made this the NPC available to be open within Studio One as a 64-bit plugin and then you know I just did my thing I do my thing some of y'all see me do my thing on these these live streams and some of these videos that I uh, that I post up. So this video is really just for you guys who have any of these Sony Vox um, VST plugs, or you know, Sample Moog is a is a good one. Philharmonic um, the strings is a great um, great 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 string. Uh, catalog 
and IK Multimedia, they make some dope stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? People be, you know, got some bad things to say about them, but they're pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? They're, and they're affordable, you know. So that's pretty much it. You can get it over here at um, 32, 32 Lives. Well, soundradix.com. I might leave a link in the description. I might not. I don't work for these guys. You know what I'm saying? I don't get no no nothing. I'm just, you know, helping the community. Um, and you definitely can utilize your 32-bit and your 64-bit software. All right, so that's my time today. I am BK Banger. Do remember that music is life. It is your DNA. Keep banging, y'all. Alright, peace, love, and light. Till next time.